welcome in this new video. My name is Leonie and today we are going to swap my screen time for reading time. So as you may know last week was my final week and yeah it was pretty hard, it was pretty exhausting and so I really want to relax this week but I don't want to uh, take the habit of relaxing on my phone. That's why I'm going to try to force myself to read this week. So I've made this weekly calendar of how many hours I need to read in a day. Okay, so normally today I would only have to read for 30 minutes, but because this week is Christmas week, oh my god, I can't wait. I'm going to visit my family and for instance on Sunday, which is Christmas Eve, I won't have the time to read, I think it's 4 hours, something like that. So what I do is that I'm just going to take the total of hours, which is 17, <laughs> oh my god. And I'm going to read for 17 hours between today and next Tuesday. Uh, I'm not going to do it day by day, you know, I'm going to do it like over a week. So I'm currently reading the third term of the Mirror video. Editor. I'm currently page 124 and I really hope that I can finish it uh, during this week and it is approximately 532 pages long so yeah I really hope that I can read it then this summer I started to listen to the audiobook of It by Stephen King and so I continue it uh, this morning and I think that listening to an audiobook is really going to help me to uh, go through these 17 hours because let's be honest I know that I won't have the time to sit and read for 70 hours in a week and if I have the time to finish The Mirror Visitor, I really want to read. I think it would be translated by This Summer, which is a, a novella of Heartstopper. I've already read one and I know that it took me around two hours to read them. Maybe, just maybe on... but yeah, I really want to read it uh, during this week because... Well, it's called It This Winter, so of course I need to read it during winter time. Okay, so this morning I read for 15 minutes and I listened for 40 minutes of it and so I'm currently at an hour and 30 minutes. It's going to be long but I trust me according to my mathematician skills I need to read over approximately two hours a day so yeah I think that today is gonna be pretty easy but yeah I think it's going to be really hard to have the time to read because well I also want to uh, spend time with my family and so I know that spending time with them is going to be like the first thing that I'm going to do you know if I don't complete this challenge that's okay but if I don't complete it, I really want to be because I spend time with my family and it's time on my phone, you know. Now I need to go Christmas shopping for presents and I need to walk around 30 minutes to go to the city. So I'm going to listen to it for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go Christmas shopping now. Okay guys, so it's currently 5 p.m. I just got home from Christmas shopping and I'm exhausted. I've literally spent four hours walking and my feet hurt so bad it's crazy but in total today I've been reading two hours and a half which I'm pretty happy about let's be honest yeah listening to the audiobook really helped me and I realized that this morning I forgot to tell you that I'm not reading for the whole screen time that I had because most of my screen time is actually uh, YouTube because I don't have Spotify either or or anything to listen to music and I listen on YouTube and because last week I spent a lot of time at the library I listen a lot to uh, study music, uh, foxing music and everything but because I'm not looking on my phone I just don't count it in the screen time about the book it I remember where I left and it's kind of strange because I read it in July it's 
really really graphic I I forgot how much detail we have about scary scene Stephen King tells every detail so be prepared for it if you want to read that book so I think that I'm going to stop reading for the day because uh, tonight I'm going to the restaurant with my father and my cousin because it's her birthday and so tonight I'm spending the night at her place the next day and it's currently 5 p.m. I got home from my cousins around 3 I believe. I cleaned my apartment, I took a shower while listening to uh, the Uji book. I've been listening for 1 hour and 43 minutes. Tonight I'm going to the restaurant with my dad and I think that I'm going to meet him in two hours I believe and I really want to continue to read The Memory of Babel for the next two hours. currently 6 30 i'm leaving for the restaurant in five minutes and today i've read for two hours and 35 minutes which i'm really happy about i don't think that i'm going to read uh, once i'm back home from the restaurant and for uh, the memory of babel i'm page 158 so I still have a lot to read. Actually, I'm not sure that I'm going to finish this book uh, this week, which I'm pretty sad about, but that's okay. I love the book. So far, I really missed the history. It's really childish, but I enjoy it, you know. But I have the impression that I haven't read in so long that now I'm even a slower reader because I read really slow, but I have the impression that yeah, it's worse now, but <laughs> that's okay. And I just enjoy sitting in my bed and reading. See you tomorrow. <laughs> So I am getting ready, today it's Friday and I've been reading for 15 minutes. So this morning I only read a chapter before starting getting ready and now I'm listening to it because I have a lot of things to do uh, today. I think that I'm going to just listen a lot of the audio book because I need to finish Christmas shopping, I need to pack my subcase and yeah I need to leave for my aunt's house around 5 p.m. and I'm not sure that I'm going to have the time to read the memory of Babel but we'll see and I'm so happy because tonight I'm seeing my mom! <laughs> 
Oh my god, I missed her so much. I haven't seen her in a month and yeah, I, I miss her so much. Okay guys, so it's currently 3 p.m. And now that I mop my entire apartment while listening to it, I'm going to put everything back in place because this is what my bed looks like right now. And I think that maybe I'm going to finish listening to it today and I'm pretty happy but at the same time I'm stressed because I don't know what I'm going to listen once I finished it. So it's currently 5 p.m. and I'm leaving in 20 minutes. So I'm really happy because I have read 3 hours and 43 minutes today. I'm so excited and I'm going to continue reading on the train to go there. I have about 20 minutes. So I have about an hour and a half left listening to it. And yes, once again, it's very graphic. Be sure to check the trigger warnings about violence but also about sexual assault and everything and I just realized that I never talked to you about uh, Babel memories and the synopsis of it uh, so basically as I said this is the third term of the mirror visitor the series takes place in a world that has been divided in several archies and we follow Ophélie, so a young girl that has been married off to a man on another Orkis and she never left her Orkis, you know. The way of living between all the Orkis are very different. The first book it's basically her trying to adapt to her new life but of course there is some problem and some people that don't really want her to be there and so yeah she she's getting into some troubles there is all like a side plot in the first one that became the main plot uh, throughout the books while well, she tries to understand what happened when the world was divided and how it was before and yeah I really enjoy it you know I don't know how to say it, just the world building I really enjoy and sometimes yeah it, it's a young adult book I believe and so sometimes it can seem a little childish but well I know that when I started reading it so I expected that and so that's not something that annoy me if you want to read the series be sure to know that sometimes it can be a little childish hi everyone it's Christmas Eve so yesterday I didn't have the chance to vlog anything because I was with my family all day but I read for about an hour and a half so I had the chance to finish it and yeah I liked it I'm not sure that I'm going to read the second book because yeah as I said I already watched the movies and so it's pretty the same and because it's so graphic it's kind of trigger me you know and I'm not very comfortable <laughs> but I read the other page 212 on the memory of Babel and I really 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 want to finish it I think I have about seven hours left of reading uh, a little less and I think that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to read it <laughs> for seven hours I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do it but we'll see 
because I have basically three days left in the challenge. So today I'm a lot with my family, of course, it's Christmas Eve, so I don't think that I'm going to have a lot of time to read, we'll see, but maybe if I have the time I'm not really going to talk to you, I'm just going to try to film it. Merry Christmas everyone! I'm so happy that today is Christmas. So uh, I'm currently at my grandmother's house and yesterday I went shopping and I bought a Christmas book. This is The Christmas Therapy by Caro M. Lin. So it's about a girl that is obsessed with Christmas and a guy that doesn't like it at all for many reasons. For their jobs they both need to follow a therapy I'm not going to talk a lot about it because even though it's in the first chapter I prefer read a book not knowing anything about it so I won't tell uh, so much and so of course they end up being in pairs for the therapy it won't be funny otherwise and yeah I like it I'm currently page 65 chapter 6 so I calculate everything and I have 5 hours left of reading in 2 days so I would like to read 2 hours and a half today and 2 hours and a half tomorrow and what I really want to do is I really want to finish this book and I think I also want to read this winter uh, the Earthstopper novella because I don't know I want to have the feeling to have read a lot of things during this week so yeah let's read Christmas Therapy update I'm pretty nervous because my grandma is just here and she's looking at me right now but that's okay so today I've been reading for an hour and 51 minutes and I'm currently on page 159 I love it actually well it's pretty cliche just like a lot of Christmas romance but yeah I pretty like it they are really funny and I feel like it's going to be spicy but I'm not sure, but we'll see. It's not something that bothers me at all. But yeah, and so I think I'm going to read for about an hour and then I'm going to watch a movie with my grandma. So I'm really happy about it. And I really want to finish it either today or tomorrow. I wish I really have the time to finish it tomorrow so I can vlog you and tell you about my reaction and how I liked it. But I feel like for the moment it might be be a 4.5 or a 5 stars. I'm not sure but maybe. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a book that much so yeah I'm pretty confident about it.
okay guys so i just have the epilogue to read and then i would have finished the book Hey guys so I finished the book I liked it a lot like really I didn't expect it to like it that much well it's it was cliche and I think I'm going to rate it a 4.5 stars I believe and the best part is today I've been reading for an hour and 45 minutes which means that I'm going to do some calculation but I believe that I've read for 17 hours this week so let me calculate and I'll come back to you. Okay guys, so it's a few days later because I realized editing this video that my SD card was full when I record the conclusion and so it didn't record anything so yeah i need to redo it but that's okay so in total this week i've read for 70 hours and 30 minutes wait let me get my notes so in total this week i read uh, 120 pages of bible memories i don't have the book with me but i read the christmas therapy which was 345 pages as you can see i did my math but i listened to 13 hours and 39 minutes of it the audiobook. Technically I haven't listened to that much but because I listen it in 1.5 speed technically I haven't listened to it for 13 hours but I don't want to do the math so <laughs> I'm going to say 13 hours. I'm really glad because I did not expect it that I could read that much in a week because for instance uh, Christmas therapy which was around 340 pages usually that took me around a week a week and a half to read that much so I'm really happy that I could read it in three days and I really want to read a lot during this vacation because I have the time also reading Christmas therapy made me realize that I could read for several hours straight in a day if I really enjoy the book because most of the time I can't really read for more than one hour because then I get bored and I think about a lot of things that I need to do and yeah reading Christmas therapy made me realize that maybe it's because I don't really enjoy the book that much because I loved it so much that I sat down and I read for two hours straight that never happened to me before yeah I'm really glad and so now I want to buy more books <laughs> which may be a problem because I already have some books in my TBR okay so now to conclude this this video I'm going to give you my ratings of the book. Uh, so the audiobook It, I gave it 3.5 stars because as I told you it was very graphic and very hard to read sometimes and yeah it made me uncomfortable. I love true crimes, books, movies and everything but it was strange because sometimes I feel like Stephen King just gave violent scene and violent detail just to give them and they don't really add anything to the plot. Then Christmas Therapy, I read it a 4.5 stars. I loved that book maybe it's going to be a five stars for the moment because i'm not sure i prefer to put it a 4.5 stars and maybe if i realize that in several weeks i will still be thinking about this book i would change it to a five stars but yeah as i told you it was very cliche but i enjoyed the book a lot and even though it was cliche and sometimes was like okay the characters seemed like not normal you know but yeah they seem real 
and they had such a chemistry that I like. I don't know what to say, but I really like this book. And then for the memory of Babel, I haven't finished it yet and I'm far from finishing it, but I think I really want to finish it during this week. And yeah, I enjoy a lot this book. Um, I'm not finished, but as I told you, because this is a series that I love, I really enjoy and being back in the world that the authors created so yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching it don't forget to like it if you enjoy seeing me reading books to subscribe to the channel this will really help me and make me happy i'll see you next sunday for another video bye